This is Kenneth Thespian Boxing. Let's talk boxing. Uh, top rank, top rank. Uh, Bob Irm has his, he's ending 2012 with Bang. He has a lot of big uh, fights coming up in his promotions. Um, top rank and his pockets are going to get fat. You know, and, uh, I'm not going to talk about a lot of fights and stuff like that. I really just want to zone in and uh, the mega fights as far as Nonito Donaire. I just want to talk a little bit about Nonito Donaire um, to end 2012. And this is my favorite time of the year. Why is it my favorite time of the year? Because this stuff right here, eggnog. Um, this stuff slamming, but I'm a little sick, man. I think I had too much of this, but um, it's cool. But yeah, I don't have too much. Um, but anyways, Nonito Donaire. I know a lot of people were saying that... Uh, he turned down the fight with Arce. Um, I, I know Donier was a little frustrated because Arce was demanding too much money for this fight. Um, he kept demanding way too much money, but Arce, you know, he said, hey, you know what, um, this is going to be a good fight, and I'm only asking for a little bit more. But uh, that fight actually got pushed through. Um, Bob Arum, he said that um, it's going to happen the weekend after the Pacquiao. Um, Marquez fight for Marquez Pacquiao is going to go ahead and fight in, in Vegas. And that's going to happen in December on the 8th. And then right after that, the following weekend, um, the Donaire and RC fight's going to happen. Um, but that's going to happen in Texas. Um, it happened in Mexico City for RFC's crowd, but it's definitely going to take in, in Texas. But like I said, the fight nearly got scrapped just because um, he was asking for way too much money. Way, way too much money. Um, how do I? What's my fight prediction on that? Um, I think uh, RC's a hell of a fighter. He, he's... He, he he definitely goes to the body really, really good. Um, he's very explosive. Um, but I think sometimes he, he hangs tight too much. He waits for the for, for the fighter to stop punching before he goes in and attacks. Um, I think he comes in a little too sloppy, but he's still, he's still, um, he's quick. He's very quick. He's slick. Um, but I think uh, Donaire, Donaire has the speed. He has the ability. As long as he stays quick in and out, in and out, and overwhelms him with his speed, I think his, his speed might... Speed and power combination is gonna, it's 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 gonna be a little bit too much for uh, for uh, Arce, but Arce could definitely um, take advantage of the Jeff, Jeffrey Matabula approach. You know, um, Donaire definitely he didn't look too good against Matabula. He you know because that that became a boxing fight. You know, um, I think he was probably uncomfortable for his height, but. Um, uh, he definitely renewed himself. He, he looked great against uh, Nashioka. He completely dominated Nashioka. Um, but he, he used his speed, and, his speed and agility. Donaire um, went back to boxing. He was in and out, and he was overwhelming him with his speed and ability and, and just, just boxing, and that's Donaire's game. Um, not too much being a brawler, um, just just box. You know, when the opportunity presents itself, just go for the kill. Um, as long as he sticks to that game plan, I think it's going to be an easy win. Um, for Donaire, and he should pull off the victory. The fight that I want to see is Euclid Gamboa and Bob Arum. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This is not even for the fans out there. I'm talking to you, Bob Arum. Make this fight happen. Euclid Gamboa versus Nonito Donaire. Now, Gamboa is going to go ahead and fight on the undercards in the Pacquiao fight, um, but this fight right here has to happen. I would love to, I would love to see Euclid Gamboa take on um, Nonito Donaire. I think that they both have great, you know, great power, great speed. Um, they both can take punches. Um, I haven't really seen Donaire's chin get tested too much, um, but Gamboa, Gamboa put on a hell of a performance against Salido. Put on a hell of a performance against every single fighter I've pretty much seen. But Bob Arum has not given this guy the opportunity. I, I understand. I, I completely do not understand why. Um, Juan Manuel Lopez, when he was Juanma Lopez, when he was champ. At the time when he was 31-0, um, they were trying to line these, these boxers up. And everyone wants to see Gamboa take on Juan Juan Lopez. I have no idea why that fight didn't take place. It just doesn't make sense, Bob. It doesn't make sense. Sometimes you just you baby your fighters way too much. And you know what? Shit just, you know, um, shit just explodes in your face. And it's just frustrating. Um, what I mean by that? Orlando Salido got his ass whipped by Euclid Gamboa. Yes, I watched the fight. And yes, um... Gamboa was toying with Salido. It was a good fight, but you can tell, you know, Gamboa, he, he won. He hands down won that fight. Um, completely, you know, beat Salido. And uh, that Matagua guy, 
uh, Lopez barely won the fight. You know, he barely he won United's position, but it was on in the twelfth round he was knocked out, and you know he was he was in trouble in the eleventh round. He almost got knocked out on the twelfth round, and and what happened? He wins United's decision. Gamboa fights him. He completely destroys him. You know, so it only made sense that go ahead, hey man, you know what? Let's go ahead and put Gamboa versus uh, Juanma Lopez. It didn't happen. Juanma took on Salido. Salido knocked him out. Fought him again. Salido knocked his ass out again. Um, ended up getting a year suspension for that. But Wama's actually going to fight. He's actually going to fight in, in December. They raised the suspension. Um, Wama, you know, the reason he got suspended, he, he took on Salido. For a lot of people that don't know, he was 29 years old, but he took on Salido. And he got suspended just because he, he, he accused uh, um, the referee for having gambling problems. Um, following the 10th round TKO, the referee came in. And stop the fight. The Salido and uh, Wama fight was that was a hell of a fight. That was just gonna blow the ball. But um, Salido was just just a little too much. A little too much. Was the the stoppage fair? Yeah, definitely the stoppage was definitely fair. So I have no idea what Lopez is talking about. But anyways, um, guys, let me what you guys think. I you know um, fight predictions early. Um, Nonito Donaire, he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. If Nonito Donaire was ever to take on um, Euclid's Gamboa, I think uh, Donier met his match. Uh, I would have to go with uh, Gamboa. And I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off, but I just, you know what, Donier, he, he's good. Filipino Flash, he's a hell of a fighter. He's, he's awesome, but um, I think uh, Gamboa would definitely win that fight. But anyways, guys, this is Kenneth, that's being boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe, friend request. Have a good one.